All right, guys, this is the IT guy, CJ, and today I'll show you how to create a public-private key pair for a passwordless login using both the Windows 11 command prompt and PuTTY, and I'll show you where to add it to your Linode account. So let's start by hitting Windows, typing in CMD, getting to the command prompt. Now we'll type in SSH-keygen, and this will generate your public-private key pair. This is the default location to save it. We'll just leave it right there. And we won't use a passphrase for this, but it is recommended. All right, so it's created both of them. And right here at the RSA, uh, ID underscore RSA dot pub, that's your public key, so let's go to it. It's in your C drive, users, user account, the .ssh, and here it is. We'll open with Notepad, and we want to copy the entire public key. Now you'll click on your username of your Linode account and go to SSH keys and add an SSH key. We'll make a label. I'll name my Lenovo laptop dash CMD. And then we'll paste the public key here and hit add key. Now we're going to use putty gen so that we can create our private public key pair with putty. And right here, we we'll want to hit generate, move the mouse within the box to create some randomness for the key. All right. And right here, Instead of saving the public key, we'll just copy the entire key because we're going to go ahead and add it right into Linode now. We'll label this one Lenovo Laptop Putty to let me know which one I'm using. Paste the key there, add key. Now we're going to save the private key and we'll just save it also without a passphrase. But again, it's recommended that you do put a passphrase on it and we'll just save it in the same place that the command prompt saved the previous keys. And I'll name this one RS, I, ID underscore RSA underscore putty. And we can close out. So now let's create a new Linode and I'll show you guys how to add it. And so under images, we'll just use Ubuntu 2204. Region, uh, I'll just pick Atlanta. I'll pick a $5 Linode. And we'll name this one SSH underscore examples. And I'll just type in a random password. And I'll click the checkbox to use uh, my SSH keys. And I'll hit create Linode and I'll fast forward through some of the account creation. So right here, we'll go ahead and set up PuTTY while we're waiting for everything to finish. So right here, we'll just type in root, the at sign, and then the IP address. Now we'll go down to connection, SSH, 
and click auth and now you'll want to browse to your private putty ssh key go back to session and then we'll want to save this session so we don't have to do that every time so we'll just type in ssh underscore examples and hit save but you can name it whatever you like all right let's check on our Linode and we'll see if it's finished and it's done once you see localhost login colon so we can exit out of here and now you're pretty much done uh, first I'll show you with command prompt and you'll want to copy the SSH access command we'll paste it into the command prompt first time you do this you'll want to type yes to accept a fingerprint and that's it you're done no password and I'll run an app get update just to show you that I'm in logged into the server and I can get updates and it's that simple once you have your keys saved that's it there's nothing else to do and I'll show you in putty because it already has the private key saved for access hit accept for the fingerprints and you're in and you'll only hit that accept or type yes that first time and I'll run an app get upgrade to show you that I'm in then I can show you that you are still able to use a password login if you choose to we'll go back into putty just type in root at the IP address and this is one that's I'm not using a save session so it's not looking for that private key typing in the password and I'm in And that's it. SSH keys are a more secure way of logging into your servers and it keeps you from having to remember hundreds of passwords. Um, I hope this helped. I have more tutorials coming. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.